Hey, Miles Beckler here, milesbeckler.com. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the recent changes that Facebook made to their Facebook advertising platform. I've been getting a lot of comments on many of the old videos about, hey, it's all different, everything's in a new place, and that's okay. In this video, we're gonna look at what has changed, we're gonna look at what this means, and we're gonna look at what you need to do moving forward to make sure that no matter what changes and what happens in the future, you're still able to access what you need in the Facebook ads platform. And this comes from a core understanding of the three moving parts within the Facebook ad platform, which is really simple. And we're gonna explain exactly how to prepare yourself for what's coming. So first and foremost, Facebook is absolutely notorious for rolling out updates. Generally speaking, they're just gonna be kind of like new skins, right? They're just gonna move things around. They might change a word or two, or they might change an icon or a location or two, but generally speaking, how the system works is going to be the exact same. An analogy I like to use is just like car manufacturers, right? Like a 2000 Honda compared to a 1985 Honda Civic compared to a 2017 Honda Civic, they look like totally different vehicles. And these vehicle manufacturers are iterating every year. There's a new vehicle out because they got to sell you something new. But when you get in the cockpit, right, you've got the gear shift in the exact same place. The pedals are the exact same place. The pedal on the right, the long skinny one still makes you go forward. The other pedal still makes you stop. And the the third pedal is still your clutch, right? So it's the same kind of idea that applies here. And I really want you to just kind of remain calm and know that this is normal. When I started advertising on a Facebook platform in about 2013, 2014, it bore no resemblance to what we are using today. So these changes that we're seeing today, they're, the good thing is that they're minor changes on the layout and they're designed to help you with a better user experience. They're not like, core functionality changes, which is what I've kind of gone through from advertising before there was a power editor till there was a power editor, which is super buggy at first, et cetera, et cetera. The biggest change that I've seen happen at this point is they've removed the left-hand navigation that switches you between the campaign, the ad set, and the ad level, and they now have moved it up to the top of the screen above your ads and above your statistics in a tabbed browsing situation. And obviously they're following the simple convention that most of our browsers have laid out for us, right? If you use Chrome or Firefox or Safari, they all work as, ta they all work as tabbed browsers. So now your Facebook interface works in a very similar way. Your first tab is your campaign level, your second tab is your ad set level, and your third tab are your ads. When you've chosen an item, right? Let's say you're on the ads level and you click the box to the left of the ad on the far right, you still get the little pencil. You click that and the edit window slides out. And that's exactly how it worked before. You see, Facebook is proud to iterate faster and to push new rollouts faster than any other platform out there. They actually advertise in, when they're advertising for software engineers, one of their big perks that they offer to software engineers is that they're so fast to iterate. Software engineers who like to work and like to code and like to see new rollouts happen often, they get really excited by the fact that they're gonna be pushing out new live updates on a regular basis. So Facebook's goal to appease their software engineers and to iterate quickly mean you and I as advertisers are gonna to continue to have to adapt. And this is not gonna slow down. This is not going to stop. This is very, very common. So how do you deal with this moving forward, right? Like, as we've noted, the, the left nav is now a top nav. That, that's really the bulk of the changes. If you go in through the power editor and you click create campaign, you still have the same options, right? It's either a traffic for a cost per click campaign or conversions for an optimized for conversions campaign. There, it looks the exact same. I just set up a brand new ad set myself, just set up a brand new campaign to make sure it worked the exact same, and it is. It's, it, everything's still the same. A couple of things have moved. So it's all about understanding the three core functions of the Facebook advertising system. That way you know how to apply what you're doing no matter what it looks like. And the first core function is the first tab and that's the campaigns. And this is where you choose what type of campaign. You can run a CPM campaign, which is cost per thousand. You can, like a, you can create a page likes campaign, a lead ad campaign, a cost per click campaign, or an optimized for a conversion campaign. 
for most of us as direct response marketers, we want to use the conversion-based campaign that uses our Facebook tracking pixel data to help bring new leads and new customers down to us, right? If you don't have that all set up or if that's too advanced, Go ahead and start with a cost per click based campaign, run a simple traffic campaign. And that's it, we're done in the first tab, no matter where it's at or what it looks like, that's all you do at the campaign level. Then you have the ad set level. Now I have covered this in extreme depth in other videos and I will absolutely link you to those videos, both here, I'm gonna put it up here in the corner and I'm also gonna put it in the comments below. So you can access the nuts and bolts of this ad set level. But the ad set level is really the engine room for your campaign. This is where you control the budget, how the budget spent, whether it's daily or a lifetime budget based on a specific duration of time. This is where you control um, the time of day that your ads show for any sort of day parting that you wanna do. This is where you control the demographics. If you want your ads to show to male or female, to 30 year olds or 50 year olds or 60 year olds or everything in between, or if you want to add in your interests, and obviously the interests are what make Facebook such a powerful advertising platform in this day and age. And all of that is contained inside of the ad set all the way down to what tracking pixel you're using and what placements you want. Do you want your ad to go on the audience network? The answer to that is no, you don't want the audience network traffic. Um, do you want it to go on Instagram? I'm still not really running ads on Instagram that much. Uh, or do you want it on the right side or just a newsfeed? And again, I've covered all of this in detail. I'm, my goal is not to teach you that stuff. I've done that in other videos. I'm just trying to help you understand that the second window that you work within or the second tab is the ad set and that's what you expect there. Third tab, these are your ads, right? This is where you create your ads. You duplicate out your ads, you run your split tests on your ads, you do image ads, you do video ads, you can try carousel ads if you want. I don't think they work very well personally, but every niche is different and you gotta test it for you. But that's it, that the whole way this functions is tab one, campaigns, tab two, ad set, tab three, those are your advertisements. And within each of those, you click on the box to the left of the ad or ad campaign or campaign that you, or ad set or campaign you wanna work with. And then you see the little kind of pencil pop up on the right side, click that and you're in the editor window. You also can click the big edit button that's up at top and it'll let you edit that which you have selected. But really, I just kinda wanted to put out a quick video and let you know that this is normal. Facebook has been quote unquote changing the game and rolling out new interfaces nonstop since I've been an advertiser and well before I started advertising on their platform. They're also not gonna slow down. This is how they roll. This is what they're gonna do. They're proud to iterate and they don't really care about you as a small time kind of advertiser, so what you need to do is adapt and roll with these punches quickly and keep your ads going because they're trying to lure in big time businesses. They're trying to get mega corporations who are spending hundreds of millions of dollars on television advertisements. They're trying to get these people to do brand awareness based advertisements on the Facebook system. So they're trying to make it easy for these level of customers and they don't really care about you and I direct response marketers. And that's great because you and I can go out, we can use and leverage their targeting system that is absolutely the best targeting possible out of any ad platform in the world today. We can hyper target our perfect customer. We can display perfectly written ads that are crafted to meet that customer at the exact phase of awareness or state of awareness that they're at and we can enter them, to, enter them into our funnel and we can get them on our email list, we can offer them products and we can then market to them for the lifetime of that until they click the unsubscribe button. That's the game. So if you've noticed that the Facebook advertising system has changed, great, jump in, don't slow down. Don't let this mess with you at all. It's not, it, it, it's literally just a new face on top of the exact same system. They're trying to pretty it up a little bit. It's still the same system underneath. So get in, keep your ads running. If you need help with your ads, that's what the other videos are for. I'll be sure to link to that playlist that has all of my Facebook advertising videos in it for you so you can learn all of the nuts and bolts and yes, those videos are gonna look a little bit different because things have changed. So you need to be creative and you need to adapt to what I'm teaching and say, oh, at the campaign level that used to be on the left, wow, okay, I see that, that's up top. 
but the core of what we're doing in all of these videos, in all of the adver how to advertise on Facebook videos is exactly the same today as it was before this new rollout. And I guarantee you, personal guarantee, within three months, they're gonna do another visual rollout and then it's gonna look totally different and people are gonna have an, oh my God, what's going on? And I'm just gonna link them to this video. And then again, three months after that, they're gonna totally change the look. The funny part is the core functionality will be the same and professional advertisers are going to be unaffected, unfazed, and continue moving forward no matter what because we know that the right targeting, the right campaign setup, and the right advertisement put in front of the right audience creates positive results. And I don't care where you put the buttons and the dials and the knobs and the things I need to tweak and get my ads running correctly, I will find them because this is the most profitable method of advertising I have going on right now. So I'm always gonna be adapting and rolling with these punches and I'm always gonna be expecting these punches from Facebook because that's how they roll. So if you notice the changes, great, get in, do your work anyways. If you haven't noticed the changes, that's totally cool too. Expect it when you log back in. The core concept and the core idea in this video is keep going no matter what. Yeah, they're gonna change it. It's always gonna be changing. Google Analytics today compared to Google Analytics five years ago. The Google AdWords platform today compared to Google AdWords platform two years ago. All of them are constantly iterating. That's what they do. So you gotta become adaptable. You gotta stay flexible. And remember that the core theory of these advertisements of the campaigns, the ad sets and the ads remains 100% the same. So go forth, stick with it. Yeah, it might take you a couple of minutes to find what's where, but just stick with it and you'll get it. That I promise. I look forward to connecting with you in the next video. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up here if you enjoyed the video or if you're cool with this new platform or you're excited to keep moving forward with your Facebook ads, let me know. If you have any questions specifically, hit me in the comments. I'm happy to answer in the comments. And of course, subscribe so you can get the next video as it comes out because I got some great stuff coming down the pipeline for you. Thank you again for your time. I will see you on the next video.